Hola. I knew we would eventually meet here at the surrendering of the soul phase. Even though this is a very intimate process and also very different for everyone, I know that we'll have something in common. We all feel extremely lonely when we go through it. Every day, I help others to reach a state of liberation by uncovering the gifts that are hidden under labels such as insecurity, trauma, grief, depression. But before being able to guide others to move from their post-traumatic stress disorder to a stage of post-traumatic growth, I had to learn how to transcend my own traumas due to verbal, emotional, and sexual abuse. This is a space where myself, Jan Mendizaba, and others will share with you the gift of surrendering to the soul. And no need to buckle up because this trip is being guided by the spirit in La Catch. In the first episode, I was sharing with you how my experience with religious beliefs actually gave me that first breadcrumb that got me closer to the missing piece I was looking for. <laughs> it seemed pretty straightforward that it wasn't a fa about the final destination anymore, but about, well, something about being in the journey kind of thing, situation. <laughs> There I was, realizing that the afterlife destination wasn't an option anymore for me when, boom, a cycle broke again. <laughs> In the past, I never had the chance to say goodbye to a loved one that was about to die. And that was kind of a big deal to me. Or maybe like a deep wound that I didn't know how to heal. And I always, always blame the universe for that. <laughs> But in my late 20s, the universe told me, It's time to heal those wounds, baby. So it gave me the, the chance to say goodbye to my very loved abuelita, my grandma. I got the phone call with the news that she probably wouldn't make it longer than 48 hours. And you will think that I learned my lesson, right? And this time will be easier. <laughs> But some of us are really good at repeating patterns, so there I found myself trying to find possible options to save my grandma's life. <laughs> oh gosh, when something really hit me. It's not about if she lives or not. It's about to tell her, but I want her to know. It's not about her afterlife destination, and if we would, or wouldn't see each other again, but about embracing the moments we were having right there. I bought my ticket and I flew back to Venezuela, but because of the connections, guess what? Guess how many hours will take me to get to Venezuela from Canada? <laughs> about 48 hours. What a coincidence. <laughs> And there I go again, inside my head, on and off. What about if I don't make it? But what about if I make it? <laughs> and I remembered, it's not about all the possible exits, but it's about realizing when it's not about that. <laughs> my grandma made it longer, way longer than 48 hours. At that moment, I knew she was waiting for me. For a few more days, I kept saying to myself, today, I have to tell her that I'm ready. But I didn't. And I knew they will come, and there she was, still alive. The whole universe was pe moving the pieces around, so I could have what I always asked for, for a face-to-face -face goodbye. Um, so I woman up when I was ready. I did say goodbye to her. I told her that I was going to be okay and I was ready to let her go. I kissed her 
and right after, I was asked to leave the hospital as she was ready for her bedtime. A few hours after, she passed away while she was sleeping. There was no doubt my actions were being watched by the universe. But the guilt was taking over me while I was wondering that maybe, just maybe, if I would have taken longer to say goodbye to her, I could have kept her alive for longer as well. Hmm. Oh, as you see, going through the whole journey and experiencing deeply, it's not good enough sometimes. Before we get to transcend a situation, we need to prove to the universe that you really, really learn the lesson. How does that happen then? Well, we get tested in many different um, forms, different scenarios, and even different locations sometimes, but it's always the same question. <laughs> the exams are being designed by the universe, so there are no creative limitations, as you can understand. So do you want a situation to stop happening in your reality? You need to really show to the universe that you learn the damn lesson. <laughs> simple. <laughs> but learning the lesson, hmm, that part is not simple, of course. So if the missing piece was learning that there was no exit to look for or where to exit from, apparently the lessons was the lesson was learned then, right? I didn't engage in the whole looking for possible exits thing. I realized that there was no exit, hmm? check mark, and I surrendered to the experience I was looking for. To get to say goodbye to a loved one before he or she passes away. Done. But for the first time in my life, I wasn't happy about being an A student. Maybe being a C student will have given me more time with my grandma. And I will still have had the learning experience. And I will have learned the lesson. The time was the dilemma here. More time, less time. Hmm. Or maybe no time at all. The universe waited for me to be ready. So maybe next time it won't. And I could feel right there who another breadcrumb was being thrown at me at the no time option. No need to tell you the name of the next episode, right? <laughs> See you then. It feels liberating to know that you are not the only one going through chaos, isn't it? Many years ago, when I realized that I was living in a toxic environment, I checked on YouTube hoping I could hear other stories. Do you know how many I found? I found none. So my intention with this podcast is that that never happens to others again. Help me to spread the word that there is a huge light at the end of the tunnel for everyone. Hasta la próxima.